Hi, welcome to BetSafe.com with myself, Alan McInally from Sky Sports. And of course, with me as always, Paul Dickoff, ex Arsenal and Manchester City, which is a game we're going to just particularly talk about because it's a huge game at the weekend in London Chelsea against Manchester City. Strikers are in form, teams are in form, they're brilliant in the Champions League and defensively seem to be pretty good, but you think City will go and win because, of course, he did have City in his treble. Yeah, that's just the way City are playing at the minute. I think they could take on anybody and, and score goals. Could I say the same thing them. to you then about, well, you, I, I could easily go for Chelsea for the same reasons? Uh, big th- miss for Chelsea would be David Luiz. I know he can be a bit well, of a... Well, he gets sent off. He's not, uh, David Luiz not available at the no, weekend. No, he's not. And he can be a bit of a car crash at times. Mm. But the way Conte wants to play with that back three, he's, it's imperative that he's in there. To who, make them tick who, who as well. comes in there? Then? They've got the young boy Christensen, who's who's done okay. Yeah. Um, but whether he's going to be ready to face Aguero, Jesus, Leroy Sani's on absolute fire at the minute. By the way. Sterling, whether he starts or whether he's coming on and scoring goals or assisting, and you can talk about that all day long. But Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva and behind them have mm. just been absolutely sensational. Do you know something, Paul? Seriously, and I know you're obviously pretty biased towards Man City at times, but at the same time, you, you know, when Chelsea are playing well, you're happy to say that. I don't know if there's two better in those positions in the, every team in the whole football league. Not the way that he's, he's got them set up. And it, it wouldn't surprise me if, um, well, it looks as like if Vincent Company's going to be fit, that Pep goes back to a back three. Um, the only problem City will have... Why should he change it? Um, because I think Maratta... Um, he'll need Vincent in there and at times City are going to come under a bit of pressure which they've not done this season especially yeah. at Chelsea and as much City have kept what last three league games three clean sheets they've not been tested against a team like Chelsea and, that, and I think that Vincent's massive for that They've scored five or more goals in the last three games you know, the, I was going to say it's a test for City but this is a test for, for Chelsea as well It is um, you know and talking about Christensen there he's a good young player but it's you need experience in these sort of yeah. games, you know. Um, big miss for City, and it looks as if he could he could be out for a long time if the message is coming out as a um, Mendy. Yeah, that's a blow for him, actually. You know, and Fabian Delph actually played there um, against Shakhtar Donetsk mm. and, done, and done really well. Did he? The other night there, and he can play Fernandinho there. You try to convince me he's not my favourite. No, he, he done well. Didn't get tested that much, I no. must admit. Okay. But um, considering that wasn't his position, he'd been out for a long time. Um, Fernandinho can play there. Big question mark, if he does go to a back three, he'll have to play Sani wing-back and he'd done that um, in the Everton game, I think it was. Does that put too much pressure on Sani at wing-back? Because he's got a defensive, more of a defensive duty then without Mendy behind him. In, in the nicest possible way for a 19, 20-year-old, he can't defend. <laughs> and, and he doesn't want to defend. No, and it, takes, it takes so much away from his game mm. because when he's playing well, Pitt tells him to stay as wide as he possibly can and yeah, exactly. get it and just run at people. You mm-hmm. know, and if he's got defensive duties behind him that he's got to do that's going to take so much away from his game 11-6 to six, incidentally Chelsea odds against uh, 30-5 the draw and Man City 3-2 to two, odds against a big city big price city I mean to be fair I, I didn't pick this in my treble because I thought it was too hard to call it'll be a good game it'll be a fantastic game goals? Mm-hmm. yeah I think there'll be a lot of goals yeah. I really do and you know, as much as City have been great going forward and keeping clean sheets they have conceded a couple of decent chances mm. within the games that if that falls to Maratta or anybody in the Chelsea team going yeah. forward, you know, they, they, they could get punished for it. But your eyes come on and subbing bagged a couple of goals yeah. lately as well, isn't it? Fantastic. Um, but it's going to be some game to watch. It's going to be good. Is. Chelsea against Manchester City. I'll keep my fingers crossed naturally for City, but only because he's better than If you've got your own ideas, you know where to be. Betsafe.com will give you the best prices industry-boosted prices on anything Paul and I have picked. Fingers crossed, and good luck with all your bets at the weekend.